Hi. Hi. Hi, Thomas. Fantastic. Hello. Fantastic. Hello. 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 You have your ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every everybody love it and. So good that you Fantastic. Okay. Can we start questions? Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So um, um, why did you um, why did you participate in this project? Oh, because I think so. It's very important that uh, you know in the current situation with. Uh, Climate crisis, global warming. I think so. It's a beautiful initiative to to work across disciplines and to work with music, with artists, with uh, theater, with science, uh, and with many disciplines of trying to think uh, how we can attune ourselves to world that we are not really uh, caring enough. And this means I really like the idea to connect, uh, as as the project is named, different people. Discipline and different people around the world to try to, to, to for a better future all together, not only, but also for the spaces and for the earth, mm. for each inhabitant of this planet. Wow, oh. wonderful. Um, actually, your, um, your city, um, you, in your, uh, I saw the exhibition and, and and your your perspective of Seoul was like really beautiful. Actually, the clouds and and the buildings. Um, so tell me more. Tell us more uh, about yeah. Tell tell us more about your work, Arosi. Arosan. Yeah. Well, we yeah we are, we are trying. It's, 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 it's kind of a we we call it like an epoch, like the Anthropocene, where humans have a, or some human have a very strong impact and uh, they treat their resources in a very unequal relationship. With the, we are trying to call uh, instead of the Anthropocene the. Uh, an epoch where where humans relate each other differently and they are connected in a different way with uh, one with each other mm. with uh, mm. with uh, with the resources also of the planet mean, and with the sun sure. and with the air this is why we call it the air and in this case you know we are trying to to see how we could uh, try by connecting differently try to imagine a new epoch a new epoch a new you know a new period of time where things could be different and this means there is no better than imagine together this this epoch that we call erosin and, we, and with that you know, there are different uh, sculptures or different uh, way of, of, of trying to work together that uh, this epoch is start to manifest and one of them was the construction of the flying museum we call it museo aerosolar which was made out of Start to, to have a single use of a plastic bag, we produce a lot of pollution into into the planet Earth. Many species who eat plastic, and then we even eat plastic at the end of the day. We imagine that by having a different caring relationship with the plastic, we could uh, invent a, a museum who can fly only with the solar energy. And in 2006 with friends and community and now it's a global community and this is why we thought we could also invent an epoch that we will call it aerosin and it's based on, on on not using fossil fuel not using uh, uh, you know all derivatives of, of, of fossil fuel to try to imagine an epoch free from fossil fuel and also free from geopolitical border somehow it can divide us by that extent you know we are trying then to to, to imagine differently how the world will be uh, when we breathe uh, an epoch which is free from fossil fuels. Mm. Um, thank you. And um, it it looks like it sounds like very it's like it's like a it's like a movie. It's like um, to be able to fly with the solar panel or just wind like without all those um, artificial fuels. And um, so I think it's really cool. Like your 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 kind of city, um, your your city and your country, your world. You make, imagine, and you draw. So um, our last question is that 
What's what's the future society um you imagine and you like to see? I, I, I think so. One small thing is like all these uh, idea. Uh, we have to think that today already exists a city which is uh, with with, uh, with all the aviation, the airplanes, and, and we pollute the air very, very strongly in the way of how we live and, and in the way how we, we you know we relate with with, uh, with these uh, extractive economies that we have been setting in place. This mean the idea is like to try to to generate a movement, a society which is connected differently and can can live uh, uh, not necessarily with uh, with the way how we relate with uh, with uh, with the resources that today uh, uh, we we use and and then distribute it in a very unequal way. This I mean you know it's, it's really kind of dreaming big and then uh, also that these cities uh, uh, you know the, the way that we can be suspended up into the air is very different than the way that today we we also uh, share and and and. and and use technology to that extent. It's, been, it's, it's, it's really without solar panels, without uh, uh, speed. Uh, it's just a kind of a magic. It's the sun heat up the air, which is inside an envelope, and then you are able to lift up in the air. And in Argentina, we are trying to break a worldwide record for the first time in human history with, with your project and support. We want to uh, lift a person in the air uh, who will be able to suspend up into the air without solar panel, without helium, without hydrogen, without a burner, without solar panels. And for the first human history, we can elevate ourselves free from fossil fuel. And this will be a worldwide record. Mm. Oh. Thank you, Thomas. Fantastic. We're very, Thank you. <laughs> we're very <laughs> happy to work with you. you, and we hope we could see um the city um the aerosane soon real soon Thank you, yes why you don't come to argentina come to argentina and and you will be lifted up in the sky without fossil fuel you should come <laughs> uh, i'll call you to this number thank you okay <laughs> let's go bye thomas bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye -bye. thank you